GTF Kisa What's good? Another day Another video GTF was going on GTF was going on If you woke up this morning You are blessed Jared If you woke up this morning You are most definitely blessed GTF was good Jared I woke up this morning Feeling good Like I always do But today I feel extra better Because the heat 2 and 0 baby We up 2 On them Celtics You understand me? Where them Celtic fans at man? Where them Celtic fans at, you heard? We had the homie, the GTF Maybach, you feel me? He was on here, you feel me, talking about some of the Celtic was gonna win and all that, da 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 You feel me? He was talking all that noise, you understand me? But get what? The Heat is up two on the Celtics, you feel me? Two, Celtics got zero, you understand me? We up on y'all, man. But anyway, man, your boy at the gas station right now, as you can see, that mean we fueling up. I don't know, I think it's been about two weekends since we took a trip, so today, you feel me? I feel like taking a trip, you understand me? Um, to be honest with y'all, I'm thinking about getting some soul food, you feel me? I'm not even sure yet. Not nowhere too far though. I'm thinking like two hours away, you understand me? But uh, let me hold on, let me get this fuel so we can jump in this car and, and head up. Alright fam, we in the whip yard. We all fueled up with it. You understand me? Full tank of gas. We ready to take this road trip. Hey fam, I got that boy ZB with me. ZB was good. <laughs> this dude ZB still a trip, fam. He's still a trip, man. The people been asking for you, ZB, man. What's good, man? ZB say you been having them baby mama issues though. Hey ZB, I ain't even gonna lie to you, fam. The GTF tired of hearing about you having these baby mama issues, fam. When, when you gonna fix it, dog? When you gonna fix your situation, bruh? It's crazy, yeah. Hey, ZB, I ain't gonna lie, though. You got some snaps on the petrol or what, bruh? Man, throw me something, fam. Throw me, throw me $10. Throw me $5. Throw me something, bruh. Fam, come on, fam. I don't wanna hear all this talk about you got me, bruh. Every time you say you got me, bruh, you ain't... Bruh, whatever, bruh. That man ZB be tripping. But anyway, fam... We finna head to take this trip. Um, while I was uh pumping the gas, I was looking through my phone and uh, I didn't want to go too far away. You feel me? Maybe an hour, maybe an hour or two away. You feel me from where we at? And uh, so I typed in Google, cities two hours away from me. And you know, one of the cities that came up, well, a couple of the cities that came up is uh Stewart, Port St. Lucie, and Fort Pierce. That's like going north. You understand me? So. I looked at the three, which one I would rather go to. So then I, you know what I'm saying? For some reason, Port St. Lucie stood out to me. You feel me? So I was looking on Google restaurants in Port St. Lucie because we was, you know what I'm saying? I was feeling like getting some soul food. I asked ZB. If ZB said, yeah, man, he down to get some soul food or whatever. So I looked up soul food in Port St. Lucie and this restaurant popped up named Nunu's. You understand me? And now when I see Nunu's, see, that's why it's good for people to be into the social media age. You feel me? Some people, like some restaurants, I understand, like, you feel me? The owners are... You know, they might be older, they don't partake in the whole social media situation, but it's good, you feel me, to do that because like when I looked it up on Google, I said new news or whatever, I seen, you know, they had a little on the Google, they had about four, four star rating, or four, one, two, three, four and a half star rating or whatever, I'm like, okay, cool. So then now I go on Instagram and try to look their name up on Instagram, you know what I'm saying, to see if I could see some pictures. Then I went on Instagram and found them on Instagram and I was looking at the pictures of some of these, some of this food and I'm like, this food looking right. You understand me? And I showed the ZB. ZB was like, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that, that, you feel me? So, so that's how, you know, this whole situation come about. So basically, we finna go to Port St. Lucie. You understand me? That's about two hours away. And go see what this new news hitting for. You feel me, fam? ZB, buckle up, bruh. Gotta get your buckle on, fam. Can't be too cool for the safe belt out here, y'all. All right, fam. Adjust my steering wheel real quick, you heard? Alright, fam. Lego! All 
All right, fam. We pulling in right now. All right, fam. It's over here to the right hand side, yard. Hey, ZB, wake up, man. We here, fam. Right here, fam. New news. We gonna see what this fool be about, yard. All right, fam. Let's go see what this fool hitting for. Man, I'm I'm out of Joe two hours. I don't know what's going on. Operation time say Saturday, 12 to 7. Boy trying to open up the door. It's locked. I don't know what they got going on, bro. See, this is what I be talking about. All right, fam. We in a whip. We ain't got no food, Jer. See, fam, this is what I be talking about, bro. They already rubbing me the wrong way, you heard? I done drove two hours to get here. Allegedly, operation hours say they open at 12. I even, I don't know, fam. Operation hours say they open at 12. Then I came here, I called, then the doors locked, you feel me? Then I called, then they weren't picking up the phone. You feel me, it's after 12, it's like 12.20 when I pulled up. They weren't picking up the phone at first. Then they finally picked up the phone. The person talking about something gonna be the next 25 minutes. Like, bro, y'all got to get your operation hours together. Anybody out there running a the business, bro, you got to get organized, bro. Come on, bro. It's crazy. But now I got to sit here additional 25 minutes and wait till they open. All right, fam. So it's 25 minutes later. Let's try, let's try this again. You hear All right, fam. We got the grub, yeah. We got the grub. Grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. All right, fam. We in the whip. Hey, huh? I left the car running for AC purposes. I left the car running for AC purposes. I guess this is a newer car. This car turns off on its own. That's hot in here, boy. I gotta turn the AC up. Put it to the max. Forehead. According to the vehicle, it's 90. It's 90 degrees outside. Yeah. Damn, I got some garlic lemon pepper wings. ZB got the same thing I got. But ZB ain't playing. He already tearing it up already. I know ZB don't play, boy. ZB don't play no game. LZB, you ain't eat? <laughs> yeah, no. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. All right, I got that. Need my mask. Need my mask on deck, yeah. Uh, my wipes. Got my wipes on deck, yeah. Got everything on deck. Um. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. ZB killing that plate. ZB like almost done. I ain't even start my plate yet. You know, because I gotta shoot this video, of course. But I ain't gonna lie. That boy ZB was hungry. Uh, as far as the food goes, I got the garlic lemon pepper, lemon pepper wings. I saw a picture of them on the gram on social media. And they look mighty good. You feel me? ZB seen the same picture I saw. He was like, yeah, man, we got to try that. So that's why we went up there. We got that, yeah. Um, it came with two sides. It came with two sides. Uh, 
I got mac and cheese and collard greens. ZB got the same thing. Mac and cheese and collard greens. And it came with the whole wings. I don't know if it's four or five whole wings. I don't know, but we about to find out, y'all. This that soul food down here in uh Oh yeah, Fort Pierce, Florida. Yeah, we in Fort Pierce, Florida. That's where we at with today. Alright, that should be good. Alright, fam. Let's get into this food. Let's pop this thing. Oh! Alright, fam. There you have it, chart. Them garlic lemon pepper whole wings. Meal, you heard? It's the wings. I ain't gonna lie. Them wings looking right. And they smell good, too. Is that mac and cheese looking mighty cheesy. Is them collard greens. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, fam. <laughs> Just know I ain't gonna lie, fam. Gotta pour one for the GTF. All right, fam. So while ZB was over there devouring his plate, <laughs> that boy done by the way, you heard? While ZB was over there devouring his plate, you know, I asked him, was it good? And he was like, yeah, it's good. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be the judge of that, cause you know, I can't really take ZB word for it. ZB be tripping sometimes, you feel me? So now, I'm like, you know what? I went ahead and I started eating. I ain't gonna lie. Your boy ZB was right. You heard? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, right? Hold on. First, collard green, hit the appear. I ain't gonna lie, fam. I had the collard greens already for sure. For a video. I just tried to get for y'all. I don't like these collard greens at all. <coughs> these collard greens ain't hitting on nothing. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a lot of room for improvement with the collard greens. I done had a few people collard greens and, you know, collard greens be through the roof like i be liking my collard greens you know well seasoned very seasoned you know you know some people when they cook the collard greens they put the turkey meat in and they cook it with the turkey meat or whatever you want to call it you understand me this i don't know what they cook it in this is like basic collard greens like i'm just being real i'm not trying to down them people they collard green it's not the worst i ever had though it's edible but compared to the ones that i've had like i don't like it at all Definitely room for improvement on the collard greens, you understand me? And I'm just being real. But now, we got the mac and cheese, you heard? Mac and cheese. Hit that beer. Mm. Like, you feel me? That mac and cheese fire. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The mac and cheese fire. Like, I don't understand how the mac and cheese so good, but they ain't do a good job on the collard greens. But the mac and cheese fire. It's just them collard greens are terrible. You understand me? But yeah, um, hold on, why the car cut off? Oh, this one of them type of cars. Car just cut off, because I've been running it for a long time. Like I was saying, the mac and cheese five. You know what I'm saying? The mac and cheese is flavored just right. It's cheesy. Everything you want in the mac and cheese is five. Hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. The mac and cheese, right? The mac and cheese on point. I don't want this to fall. So now, another thing too with this meal. This meal was fourteen dollars, right? And with the wings, I forgot to tell y'all about the counter wings. The counter wings, you get four wings, but these are whole wings. It's not like you know how people cut the wings in half, and you know, you know they they, they you know you know how they do when they cut the wings in half and just give you like one side of the wing. You know, basically. Just trying to wait, find a way to take advantage of people to get more money out of you. But these are whole wings. Four whole wings. You heard? These the garlic lemon pepper wings. Hit that bit. Mmm. These. Hold on. These. Some good wing. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Look at the wing. Wings are seasoned to perfection. Seasoned to the max. Girl. 
seasoned to the max. Very flavorful wing. And I like the way they, they're fried. Like it's fried. Not too hard, not too soft. Not too hard, not too soft, but just enough for the perfect crisp. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> you think fire? These things fire. I know you told me, but I ain't gonna believe you. ZB over there telling me, telling me, so I told you they were fine. Whoever made these wings, they know something. Whoever made the mac and cheese, they know something too. Yeah, these wings good. I doubt you could probably do this, but I would have rather substitute. The collard greens and get some extra mac and cheese. Hmm, I'm fine. Mac and cheese, fine. I need chicken wing. All I need is mac and cheese and the chicken wing. Damn. Man, that thing's fine. Hit this mac and cheese one more time, fam. Huh? Definitely need to use room for improvement. But yo, fam, what I want to talk to y'all about today. Last night I ain't watched no TV show. You feel me? Y'all already know I ain't watched no TV show. Last night the heat was playing. You hear me? The heat was on last night, y'all. The heat is on. The heat is on. Hey, ZB, you seen the game? ZB said, yeah, he saw the game. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, like, I watched the game last night. Great game, you feel me? The Heat up over the Celtics. 2-0, y'all. 2-0. Heat got two. Two wins. Celtics got Zippo. You understand me? It was a great game, though. Shout out to them boys. They did their thing, you feel me? But at the end of the day, it's Team Heat all the way. You understand me? I'm from Miami, you understand me? I'm from the M-I-A-M-I, you heard? Shout out to the Heat, man. I mean, to y'all, I know I got GTF people out there. In Boston, you feel me, y'all Celtics fan. I got love for y'all, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I'm Team Miami Heat. Feel me? The Miami Heat beat the Celtics last night. Uh, um, you know, Jimmy Butler did his thing. Um, Kevin Love did his thing. Um, Adebayo did his thing. Um, one dude, I forgot his name, coming off the bench, he was doing his thing. You feel me? All them boys are doing that thing. Boy putting in work. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like, I ain't trying to down talk nobody. But this is one play on the heat that was getting on my nerve last night. If we would have lost, I would have felt like it was because of him. The guy, last name, Laurie. Laurie, Larry, Laurie, Laurie, whatever how you pronounce his name. Man, dude was missing all type of shots, bro. Bro, why was he taking threes and missing them, bro? Bro, stop shooting the ball, bro. Just pass it, bro. I ain't trying to down talk the man, but come on, bro. We trying to, you feel me? We trying to win. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, it was a close game towards the end. You feel me? But this Laurie dude, man, he kept shooting the ball and kept missing, bro. Taking threes and all that and missing that. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Stop. You feel me? Just stop it, bro. 
I don't understand, bro. I really don't. I, like I said, I wasn't really paying attention to the games before the playoffs. So I don't really know how this Laurie guy was playing prior to the playoffs. I just know last night, bro. That bro, bro, bro was tripping, bro. And I ain't trying to down talk the man. You feel me? It's just like, bro, you were tripping, bro. We trying to, you feel me? We trying to eliminate these people. We trying to eliminate the Celtics, bro. You missing all these shots, bro. You ain't helping the cause, homie. You understand me? You ain't helping the cause. Bro, I need extra practice. I ain't gonna cap with you. You understand me? I ain't I'm gonna cap with you. Bro, I need extra practice. But other than other than him, though, everybody did their thing. It was just him. And I ain't trying to single Buddy out or nothing like that. I'm just saying, you feel me? It was obvious. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that thought, like, last night this dude sucked. You feel me? But, you feel me? Long story short, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we put that win away, you understand me? So, we 2-0. And, uh, I don't know, man. Let's take it to, let's let, let, let's get this 3-0, baby. It'd be nice to just sweep them, you feel me? It'd be nice to just sweep them, boy. I ain't gonna cap with you. You feel me? It's nice to get this 3-0. So, I hope you get the, the, next, the next win, you feel me? The Heat win again, get that three and zero, baby. You feel me? Shout out to the Heat, them boys did they thing. You feel me? I ain't even gonna cap with y'all, man. Shout out, shout out to the GTF from Boston. You feel me, y'all Boston fans? You feel me? It's all love at the end of the day. You're, it's all love. But I'm Team Heat at the end of the day. You understand me? I'm from Miami. Team Heat all the way. You heard? So don't take it personal. You heard? Shout out to uh to the homie Maybach. The homie Maybach, he wanted to bet me five dollars. You feel me? I ain't really no betting type of person. You know, he just want to do a little five dollar wager or whatever i'm like whatever you feel me i ain't really no betting type of guy anyway but have my five dollars homie have my five dollars when the season over you heard have my five dollars i'm gonna have them i'm gonna need them i'm gonna need them i'm gonna need them, I'm gonna need them in singles because i'm gonna take them five singles and put them together with five other singles and use them as the money that i throw when i do the today we gonna grub for under half a dub you understand me so have my five dollars when the season over famo you understand me Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. Hey, ZB, what you think? Man, ZB say it's Team Heat all the way, you heard? Team Heat all the way. But yeah, fam, you feel me? We like two hours from the crib, so that's all I got for y'all today. Um, shout out to New News with these garlic lemon pepper wings down here in Fort Pitt, uh, Florida. Definitely check them out. You understand me? Definitely check them out. I ain't gonna lie, I was mad at first because they took the extra 25 minutes to open. But but the mac and cheese and the garlic lemon pepper wings made up for that time. You feel me? Like I don't, you feel me? I'm not. I was I was after after eating this um the mac and cheese and the chicken wings, the garlic lemon pepper wings, I'm not mad no more. You feel me? Sometimes you know I just wish that people would open on time. But it's all good though, you feel me? Like the taste of the flavor of these wings and the the mac and cheese. You feel me? I'm let them slide. We good. You feel me? We good. I ain't complaining no more. I ain't mad no more. The food was good. Except for the collard greens. You feel me? The collard greens wasn't, I don't know, they wasn't hitting on nothing. You feel me? Collard greens wasn't hitting on nothing. But the mac and cheese and the collard greens, I mean the mac and cheese and the garlic lemon pepper chicken wings is where it's at. You understand me? The garlic lemon pepper chicken wings and the mac and cheese is where it's at. No cap. You understand me? But yeah, fam, we about to get out of here, man, because... I gotta take ZB to his baby mama. She been calling him. You feel me? You know how that goes, y'all. But yeah, fam, y'all already know, man. GTF for life.